Here's a serious question that I got for everybody. Who spends $7,000 in COD Mobile? Leave your comments down below. What's up guys, welcome back to our brand new video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about something that I came across in my comment session. Now, this is not like a rant or anything like that. I just wanna know your thoughts and opinion about the situation, how much money you spend in COD Mobile. For me, I didn't spend that much in COD Mobile because I always thought to myself that I'm not going to be able to play Call Mobile like I used to. Um, I'm just slowly getting back into it and a lot has changed. So I came across this uh, comment that is pretty interesting to me. Now, I usually leave comments in my videos like, you know, about anything. So like, for example, we're talking about how much money you spend in Call Mobile. And this person <laughs> in the comment section, because I said that I'm going to have more content from Warzone Mobile, which I'm gonna check out when it drops Thursday. And, you know, do some content and cover some content on Warzone Mobile. Of course, this person said, F Warzone. I'm like, okay, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's your prerogative. You know, if you wanna say F Warzone, good for you. And I, I just kept it moving. So the person came back in the comment session and you will see the comment on your screen. This person said, Warzone is for free players. I spend, I spend in Call of Duty Mobile more than $7,000. Do you think I want to quit all my paid skins and weapons just to restart all over again? And so I was getting ready to go to work when I saw this comment and I'm just saying to myself, my guy, nobody is not stopping you. If you see my glasses glaring, it's because of the lighting. Nobody is not stopping you for playing Call of Duty Mobile. Like Call of Duty Mobile just dropped season three. Like couple of days ago so that let you know that they're still you know pushing content for season three it's just that there's some maps that are not going to be available when warzone drops like i think shoe house and ashiki island or one of those maps are not going to be available they're going to be available in rotation for additional seasons so that i said well you do know there's probably like different studios that's going to be working on two mobile games there's one studio for call of duty mobile probably which there is and there is probably another studio that's gonna be working on warzone mobile so you know call of duty has like five six different studios right now that they're working on and you know they don't have that ceo no more so they're just pushing out the content they need to push out and i'm just saying to myself who in their right mind would spend like nearly seven thousand dollars on weapons and skins the only thing i can think of is legendary weapons <laughs> you know the ones where you have to spend a lot of cod points to get these not just weapons but skins and additional items in that little slot thing that you have to like spend your hard-earned money on and maybe other weapons that they're spending money on i'm like that's the only way i can think that you're spending so much money on certain things is like getting those legendary cool weapons with different skins and they have like different ways of shooting out I mean, that's the only way that I'm thinking that you're spending $7,000. When I look at the COD tier list of weapons that people are using, they're not even using these goddamn weapons. They're not even using these legendary weapons. And usually when I play rank, it's very rare that I see a lot of people, especially rank players, using those weapons. Because you have to spend your, your hard-earned money to use those weapons. Now... The weapons back then, like when Call of Duty Mobile dropped in 2019, there was a few weapons that, yeah, I wanted to spend, but that's a lot of money you have to spend to get that one particular weapon every season. And that's the only way I can think that you're spending a lot of money on. Am I... Sorry. <laughs> My camera was out of focus. That's the only way I'm thinking that you're spending all that kind of money is literally legendary weapons and like i said when i used to play rank I, it's very rare very rare that i see a lot of people using those weapons and then a lot of times when i watch a lot of these called mobile players here and there sometimes they don't even have these weapons as their top tier list <laughs> so i'm just like dude nobody's not stopping you to start all over again that happens in every game it happens in every Call of Duty. You always got to start all over again. Yes, you might have your weapons in Modern Warfare 3, but you might like a weapon when Black Ops series drop later this year that you want to try in Warzone. It, it, it happens every year. You always got to start all over again. Doesn't matter what game you're playing. So, you know, I just... <laughs> 
I just literally laughed to myself when I read that comment. I'm like, dude, nobody's not stopping you from playing Call of Duty Mobile. It's probably two different studios working on two separate mobile games. That's the reason why they call it Warzone Mobile and they call this Call of Duty Mobile. Now, when you look at Call of Duty Mobile, the battle royale that they have in there reminds me of Blackout and BO4 days. And when you look at Warzone Mobile, it's like the modern day Warzone game that we have now. I just took the comment and just laughed to myself. And I say, you know, I want to make a video and see how much money people spend in Call of Duty Mobile because me, I don't I don't even know. I think I probably spent like $100 on Call of Duty Mobile because I didn't look at Call of Duty Mobile as a game like I got to get this skin, I got to get this weapon and I want to look cool and I want to show everybody. There's a lot of people who has a lot of skins and weapons and their fucking KDs like crap. So, <laughs> so it's like yeah, you might have all these weapons and skin, but what's your KD? What's your winning percentage? That's the first thing people usually say. Like, yeah, you might got all this stuff, but what's your winning percentage in games? What's your KD? Everybody always cares about your KD. Doesn't matter what game you're playing. They always want to know what's your what's your kills? How many kills you got? What's your stats like? They don't care what skin and weapon you have. They want to know what your stats look like in this game. Nobody cares about that you're spending $7,000 in COD Mobile. At this point, I don't even know what to say at this point when it comes to people and I don't know. I just got home from work, so <laughs> I just said to myself, I'm going to make a video about this because like, I don't understand what people are saying. Like, oh, I spent $7,000 in the game and I don't want to start over again. It's, it's a goddamn game. Like, I don't understand why people take games so serious. It's a damn game. Call of Duty Mobile came out, broke records. I'm reading the stats right here. 100 million downloads in the first week in 2019. 2020, Call of Duty Mo uh, Mobile launched its first eSport tournament with a $1 million prize pool. And then they added the Icon and Max from Modern Warfare and Black Ops series. In 2021, the game achieved over 500 million downloads across iOS and Android devices. 2020 is when I stopped playing Call of Duty Mobile. That's the only way I'm thinking that you're spending like nearly $7,000 in a game is like because you're buying legendary weapons and all kinds of weapons. <laughs> and I'm just saying to myself, like, my guy, like, you don't have to start all over again. And for me, the only way you could, I don't know. I didn't like how Call of Duty Mobile had it in a way where you have to buy these type of skins and do this type of like gambling in order for you to get these weapons. So I didn't like that on their part. Like I wanted to cover Call of Duty Mobile, but if you want to make content on that, you have to spend a lot of money on this to get these things. And I'm just like, you know what? Weapons were cool. Weapons was nice. You know, they had really nice skins. And I'm just saying to myself, I can do that same thing in the big version of Call of Duty, which would be on my console and PC. If I want a particular skin, I will pay the, you know, the $19 to get that skin. I'm getting the skin and the weapon at the same time. Why this is like, it's like gambling. Like it's like, it's lucky draw. I'm like, I don't want to do that. So whatever. That's up to you. You want to spend all that kind of money on Call of Duty Mobile. That's up to you. Like, just don't come in my comment section, like, talk about F Warzone. My guy, Warzone right now is, like, the biggest thing right now. Without Warzone, Call of Duty Mobile won't be, not Call of Duty Mobile, but Call of Duty won't be what it is now. Because I feel like if Call of Duty didn't add Warzone, it'd be a dead-ass game because nobody would want to play multiplayer because of the damn, how skill-based matchmaking was in multiplayer. Like, it's just horrible. <laughs> They claim that it's not there, but I'm like, dude, skill-based matchmaking is in your game, and it's making the game crappy. There's other developers who came up with the idea of skill-based matchmaking are saying it that some of you guys are kind of like, they didn't say what studio, but they mentioned that you're kind of overdoing it with skill-based matchmaking because you don't want little Jimmy to get annihilated in multiplayer. Like, I got annihilated in multiplayer. I went 8 and 23 in Black Ops 3. Went on YouTube, watched a ton of YouTube, figured out that my ADS was crap. My ADS was at 4, I bust, I boosted my ADS at 6, and I got better over the years. It, it takes practice. Just because you're getting annihilated doesn't mean you're a sorry player. You just got to figure out how to figure the game out and work around your map and know how to read your map. 
you need to become a better player. But I thought I made this video so you guys can <laughs> get a laugh about it, put down how much money you spend on Call of Duty Mobile, and yeah, just go on from there. I don't know. I, I, I try not to figure out why people say things nowadays. I'm just like, you know what? I just got home from work and I can care less how much money you spent in Warzone or mobile games or Apex or whatever game you're playing nowadays. I don't care how much you spend on there. That's you. <laughs> you want to spend $7,000 in Call of Duty Mobile and I hope you live with your parents like I do. Because shit, you know what I can do with seven thousand dollars right now? Pay off half my parents' mortgage. That's what I can do with seven thousand dollars. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Seven thousand dollars in a mobile game is is kind of ridiculous to me on my part. And yeah, check out this video that you see on your screen, and I'll see you guys in my next post.